The purpose of life is basically to live it. And living it is to celebrate all occasions to the fullest. Like I always say, being out and about is not an option. It's a lifestyle. Glad to have you join me on today's show, where every day counts in my diary. I am Lola, and you are always free to call me your able commissioner for Owambe, and of course, other occasion. I represent every event happening here or there. Welcome to September, and welcome to Events Diary. I'm excited because the year is fast running to an end and events are gradually bombarding my diary. This quarter houses the AGMs, end of the year parties and other occasions too. Now, tell me why I shouldn't be excited. What you're mentioning is the fact that organizations and worship centers are celebrating different divisions within their entities. One of such is my first point of call today. Christ Apostolic Church, Lagos Street, in a Butemeta area of Lagos State, celebrated her choir's 70th anniversary in grand style. Events Diary was there, and I bring you visuals from the celebration. Going by the psalmist, enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his court with praise. This was in tune with the 70th choir anniversary of St. David Band of Christ Apostolic Church, Lagos Street in Putimeta, Lagos, amidst mind-blowing festivity of songs. awaited occasion in the church's calendar had in attendance multitudes of people from all strata of life, including the guest preacher, Dr. Daniel Kolawole Lukoya, the general overseer of Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministries, who glowed in his usual compelling sermon. Matthew 10, verse 1. And when they come unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits, to cast them out, to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases, power against. Listen carefully. Many, many years ago, this country was in thick darkness. Darkness so thick, you could almost cut it in the night. It was so, so bad. You cannot even call it a witch a witch. You call them Yaba. If you call them a witch, you are in trouble. It was that bad. A man was preaching in the church, and two women were disturbing the service. And he told them to keep quiet, stop disturbing the service. Are you witches? Why are you disturbing the service? And one of them stood up and said, You. He pointed at him and he put the same you are calling me a witch when your mother is our member. 
So you are not coming out from that pulpit and you never did. In their colorful robe, the celebrants in their different sets raises the roof with their high pitch renditions. <laughs> A journey of 70 years is a journey worth celebrating. The church music director and minister in church shared their views and happiness upon the attainment of the choir's 70th anniversary. It has been a wonderful year. It has been a glorious year all this while. And the Lord has been faithful to us, He's been faithful to the church, faithful to the choir. This choir has impacted so many lives. A lot of compositions original to this church, to this choir. I've gone out to other churches and I'm blessing people's lives. Blessing people's lives. They've been using crusades, they've been using revivals, and people have been blessed. People have been touched. People's lives have been changed. History is quite synonymous with this church. Some age-long members of the ministry describe the choir in numerous ways while expressing their wishes for the future. My father-in-law, the late pastor Samuel Awolowo, was the first choir master. So I have a lot of affinity with the CAC church. We're happy the Lord sustained the choir till now. And every single year they have been more glorious than they ever were. The best choir in the whole world. There's no other choir like this one. All the songs that were being rendered by the choir was awesome. I just want to bless the name of the Lord on behalf of every member of that choir. Uh, singing ministration is very, very powerful in Christianity. I wish them more success in the future. I pray that this choir we move to the next level of achievement, materially, physically, spiritually, in the name of Jesus. And they had the traditional hip hip hooray show as they cut their celebration cake. Would it be right to say happy 70th birthday to St. David's Choir Band? Well, here is wishing them many happy returns. Still on the tips I promised given, today we will be talking about hair fascinators like mine. This small fashion accessory item for the head is a beauty to adorn for the bride and her bridal train or even for other functions. Now getting this headpiece right is key. It is also simple to make. Watch this. <laughs> Humans have covered their heads since time immemorial. Initially, headwear offered protection from falling elements, symbol of royalty, and soon became an art form used as accessories for different occasions. In fashion terms, hats are a very noticeable accessory because the onlooker's attention is first drawn to the face. A hat is the most noticeable fashion item anyone can wear. The old saying goes, if you want to get ahead and get noticed, then get a hat. As years passed, hats have slowly lost favor, even for weddings and worship, with only a proportion of the congregations donning them. The act of bringing it back into the society brought about various artworks like the popular hair fascinators here in Nigeria. Hats, when worn today, are either worn for a special dressy occasion, such as wedding or conversely, as casual statement attire. Functional hats will never die as an accessory as it offers far too much potential for drawing attention to the face. Fashion designers are aware of this and ever so often exploit this fact 
in the hope that these fashion items catch the imagination of the public. Our focus today is the wedding hair fascinators which are in trend. Brides, bridal trains and wedding guests now stylishly wear the fascinators and hats at Nigerian weddings and even for church services. To help you further, here are some tips to consider on how to choose a wedding headpiece and hair fascinator. My name is Falaki Oladipupo Okunaya and I run Bell Signature. We are into makeup, hats and fascinators. We do bouquets and hand fans and anything beauty, we are called out for that. Today we'll be learning how to make hatinators. Uh, something like this is called an atinator. It's a new trend in town now. And I'm going to be teaching you how you can make your own in the house. Now what are the things that you need if you want to make hatinators? You have different materials that you can use for this, uh, for this training. One of it is uh, a matte fabric of matte material. We call it matte. It's like cinnamon. And this is cinnamon. Naturally it comes in cream, just like you're seeing it, like this but you can dye them into different colors of your choice. So if the event or the wedding is actually turquoise blue, just make your material into turquoise blue and that's a good start. Then you need your gum, you need your plier, you need your wire. We call this art wire. So you need that, you need your scissors, and of course you need your tone paints right here. And you need your brain. Now this comes in different shapes, so it depends on the shape that you want. So to start with, so you have to size like this. Cut out what you want. Okay. The first thing after sizing is to stiffen. So this is my stiffener. Try to remove the jewelry, then you stiffen it. Please take this away from the reach of children so they don't think it's ice cream. When you pick your cinnamon, you do the same. You start from the middle so you don't get all your hands stained. So you clap. Now as you're doing that, it's opening every part that is, you can see what it looks like. So you place it down like that, bring the other one, you don't have to do a lot with this because by the time it's dry, it's going to open up anyways, he has a lot of holes. Okay, so now that we are done stiffening, we are going to pin up everything. So now this is going to wear, this is going to be where we are going to bring out the shape of our alternator. So we have to pin it very firm. If you notice, I'm pinning opposite sides. This is what the front is. So now we have to take it to where we can have direct sun and dry it off. So because of this wood, we call it frame, it's going to bring out the shape. Now it's dried, I have to remove and cut out the shape. So you have to remove the pins. You have to cut after it's dried. So this is the rough part that is not needed about. The next thing I have to do now is to put my uh, wire and use my thread and my needle. It's very important for you to use the same color of your material. Okay, so now the stitches is done. And I can see what I have here. So you can decide to give it just a little life by turning up, like you can see this. Then the next thing is to take your tape and you fix. Now you could use your gum again. This is whipped crinoline with bow and stones. So that's what I want to use as my design on this. So I'm going to take my candle gun, I'm 
grenades. I'm trying to press it to make sure that it's firm. So you can see what it looks like. Of course, you know exactly how you want the placement to be before you put your band. Then you go back to your candle gun. You have to put it at the side, not in the middle. So I'm going to add it up to. You have to press it down well so it can pin down. So we have that already. So simple as ABC, right? I have mine and I adorn it at befitting occasions. You should try having one among your heart collections. Now, lastly, we went out and came back with a wedding report. I guess it's the season for weddings here in TVC. One of our female staff said, I do, and we all were present to honor her. You see some of the popular faces you know, digging it big time. Enjoy building and perfect wedding. Abiodu and Perfect were the synergy of all eyes and the reason for an entertainment gathering. It was the day of submission to the will of the Lord that man shall leave his father and mother to cling to his wife. Then they will become man and woman. Abiodun Titilayo Ali glowed in a wedding dress beside our perfect match as both took the nuptial vows at Christ Embassy Church, Dr. Moore. And this poverty and death. The rest of life, you see, you see, you see, you see. Yes, I do. All right. I have the opportunity to lie. Then the devil will do the prophet. According to the word of God. And the statement of our vow. And the statement of our vow. Yeah, I join myself. Yeah, I join myself. To you. To you. I'll be your husband. I'll be your wife. And sports. We shall be one. Hallelujah. Thank you for being here. Amen. Amen. Oh, I vow to you, I vow to you, in the name of Jesus. I never say amen. 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 Give the Lord a big hand for that. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big hand for that. That's the kind of thing it is. Parting, 
They took us through the unique qualities that made them a perfect match. I met her on my birthday. That was on the 14th of August. We had a strong connection. Um, not just chemistry. We were able to convince that we wanted to set down together. She understood me. She knows my faults. She could manage me. Very well. Yeah, very, very well. She could really manage me. I love him. <laughs> Have you seen my beautiful baby? Have you seen my tomato baby? Oh. The couple took it a notch further as they invited guests to witness the engagement and reception proceedings. to honor one of their own in the person of the bride. And when we come out, we support big time with carefree merrymaking. Here are a few wishes for the couple. Good marital life prosperity, good things of life and all the best wishes for them. Happy married life, God bless you, many blessings, the Lord will continue to be with you all the days of your life and you will be your, friend, your husband's best friend. I wish them long life, I wish them happy marriage life, I wish them what they wish they save. I wish them many, many blessings. I wish them success in marriage. I wished her well, wished her a long life, herself and the husband. I wish her the very best in this marriage. Obey God and honor God, respect her husband, and above all, when anything goes wrong, she should know the most important person to talk to is God. I wish her union, happiness, love, and long life. I'm just saying, this is it for you. You deserve it. Whatever you wish yourself right now, 
tomorrow and next tomorrow. I'm saying go for it and happy married life. Abundance of blessings. They will not lack children. God will open doors for them. They will live like friends in the name of Jesus. I want to wish her happiness, great children and best wishes in our marriage. And the phone returned to the table of TVC staff members of a truth. We came, saw and conquered as we celebrated with the new Mrs. Madhu Jevon. Yes, so when we come out, we come out in style. Just so you know, we support with everything we have. And from the new couple, do we draw the curtains for this week? I am waiting for that call and invitation. Just follow these details and be assured of the commissioner for O and Best presence. For contact and bookings, you can visit our office in number one continental way of CMD Road, Magodo, Lagos. You can also visit our Facebook page, Twitter handle, YouTube page, it's Event Diary. You can also call the numbers showing on your screen. I'll be back next week, same time with other events. Do not forget, the more you celebrate your life, the more there is in life to celebrate. So keep celebrating and I love you. Bye for now.